In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you how to find attendance reports in Microsoft Teams, during and after the meeting. But first, we're introducing the new Microsoft Teams Bible. It's free to download for all our newsletter readers. And you get all the essentials needed to get up and running in Microsoft Teams, including clear steps and images to guide you through the process. To start mastering Microsoft Teams, just hit the link and download your free copy. In Microsoft Teams, meeting organizers can download attendance reports, which can be done inside the meeting window or after the meeting ends. To download the report while you're in a meeting, click the People tab at the top. Then head across and click the three dots. And select Download Attendance List. The list will then be saved to your local device as a CSV file, which you can open in Excel. To download the attendance list after the meeting, head to your calendar and double-click the meeting or click the meeting once, and then click the expand icon in the dialog box. In the expanded view, click attendance, or click the attendance tab at the top. In the attendance tab, head to the top right, and click download. You can open the attendance reports individually in Excel, but it might be more efficient to maintain a single worksheet for all attendances. To do that, create a table with the following headers. Meeting title name first join last leave duration email upn and role this format will make it easier to paste the attendance report once you've made the table click file in the top left if you're using the desktop version go to open and this pc or if you're using the online version click open files from this device now locate and select the csv file you downloaded and hit open Once you've opened the attendance report, head down to the list of participants. Then select and copy the list by pressing Ctrl and C, or Command and C. Now head back to your meeting's worksheet. Click the empty cell in the name column, and press Ctrl and V, or Command and V to paste. The last thing to do is to add the meeting title. And if you need to add the same title to multiple rows, just click and drag the small square, located in the bottom right corner of the cell. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for important Microsoft news and updates, and a chance to win prizes, be sure to hit the link in the description, and join our newsletter today.